some typical microlepidoptera, an elucidated many plumed moth in the top center, a white terrified plume moth in the center. Microlepidoptera is an artificial grouping of moth families, commonly known as the smaller moths. These generally have wingspans of under 20 mm, and are thus harder to identify by external phenotypic markings than macrolepidoptera. They present some lifestyles which the larger lepidoptera do not have, but this is not an identifying mark. Some hobbyists further divide this group into separate groups, such as leaf miners or rollers, stem or root borers, and then usually follow the more rigorous scientific taxonomy of lepidopterans. Efforts to stabilize the term have usually proven inadequate. Vernacular usage divides the Lepidoptera simply into smaller and larger or into more primitive and less primitive groups, Microlepidoptera and Macrolepidoptera, respectively. Intuitively, the micros are any Lepidoptera not currently placed in the Macrolepidoptera. This paraphyletic assemblage, however, includes also the superfamily Zygonoidea, Cesioidea and Cosoidea that would in common parlance normally be lumped with the macros. A Lepidopterist might call these groups primitive macros. Furthermore, even all of the non-detrition moths are not small. For example, the Hapilidae or swift moths fall quite basely in the Lepidopteran tree of life. The recently discovered primitive superfamily Andesianoidea is another case in point, lurking within the Cosoidae until 2001, these moths have up to an order of magnitude greater wingspan than most previously known monotrition micros. Whilst the smaller moths are usually also more seldom noticed, a more expansive non macrolepidopteran concept of the microlepidoptera would include about 37 out of the approximately 47 superfamilies. Whilst usually less popular, micros are thus more important in the sense that they include a much wider span of the tree of life. Whereas they include no butterflies, micros do also include a surprising number of day-flying groups, and the advent of online identification resources in many countries combined with the widespread use of digital macro photography is making them much easier to identify. Microlepidoptera can be found in a broad variety of habitats and ecological niches worldwide, both terrestrial and freshwater aquatic. They have a wide variety of feeding habits in both larval and adult life stages. Caterpillars feed on a wide variety of plant tissue and across a wide spectrum of plant groups from liverworts to angiosperms. They are either external feeders or more usually feed internally, typically as miners or tunnelers, but some feed on fungi, scavenge on dead animals. Are parasitoids usually of other insects or are detritivores, and Hyposmacoma molluscibra even feeds on live snails. Adult moths feed with mandibles on spores and pollen on dew, with their proboscises on nectar or are simply non-feeding with mouth parts reduced or absent. The larvae of many smaller moths are considered economic pests, causing damage to plants, as well as fabrics and other man-made goods. Commonly noticed micros include the plume moth and the various species of clothes moth. The list below is ordered initially in approximate order of species diversity and ecological abundance. The first four superfamilies listed here may comprise 90% of species in a sample of smaller moths and the listed characters may be of some assistance to sort these out. Particularly the form of the labial palp and scaling of the proboscis. 1. Curved horn moths, twirler moths, case bearers and allies, 16,250 spp. 2. Pyralids, snout moths and grass moths, 16,000 spp. 3. Tortrix moths, leaf roller moths, bell moths, codling moths and allies, 6,200 spp. 4. Close moths, bagworms and allies, 4,200 spp. 5. 6. Leaf miner moths, 3,200 spp. 7. Ermine moths, webworm moths, yucca moths and allies, 1,500 spp. 8. 9. Plume moths, 1,160 spp. 10. Tropical leaf moths or picture winged moths, more than 1000 spp. 11. Fairy moths, longhorn moths and allies, 600 spp. 12. Metalmark moths, 402 spp. 13. Mandibulate archaic moths, 180 spp. 14. Sparkling archaic sun moths or spring jewel moths, 24 spp. Superfamilies less likely to be encountered, 15. Tropical fruitworm moths, 318 spp. 16. Fringe tufted moths, 83 spp. 17. Blackberry leaf skeletonizer and allies, 8 spp. 18. Imid moths, 250 spp. 
19. False brunette moths, 60 SPP. 20. Tropical teak moths, 20 SPP. 21. Wally's Malagasy moths, 2 SPP. More rarely encountered primitive families, 22. Cowrie pine moths, 2 SPP. 22. Southern beech moths or Valdivian archaic moths, 9 SPP. 23. Archaic sun moths, 4 SPP. 24. Australian archaic sun moths, 6 SPP. 25. Archaic bell moths, 12 SPP. 26. New Zealand endemic moths, 7 SPP. 27. Gondwana land moths, 60 SPP. 28. Trumpet leaf miner moths, 107 SPP. 29. Semithistid moths, 4 SPP. 30. Galacticoid moths or webworm moths, 17 SPP. These groups have been formerly included in macros by hobbyists. Archaic and primitive macros is not a recommended name for these as it may create confusion of their placement in some classification systems. 31. Swift moths and allies, 544 SPP. Unassigned to superfamily, 32. Merrick's mystic moth, 1 SP. Large monotrition micros, 33. Andean endemic moths, 3 SPP. Large ditrition micros, 34. Burnett moths, slug moths, hag moths, glass moths and allies, 2600 SPP. 35. Clear wing moths, castnid moths, little bear moths and allies, 1300 SPP. 36, 37. Goat or carpenter moths and allies, 676 SPP. Thanks for watching.